What's up guys? This is Colin from Ungeek and I'm with Nicolo Yo. and we are here inside As uh, Asus's HQ. We're checking out the new Asus ROG phone. Finally! Tumating na dito. Yeah, it landed na after its reveal ng Computex. Computex. So actually, we're, I was able to check it out on Computex hmm. nga eh. And ang hindi ko nakita nung time na yung was the box. So we're going to be unboxing it now. Kakaiba yung Just box for eh. you guys. Look at that to! Ako sa nakuha ng premium yung box yun. Box palang ulam na. <laughs> Medyo. I <laughs> didn't even know that. Pero anyway, I haven't okay. tried the ROG phone yet, of course. Kasi ngayon pa lang nagland. Ah, okay. Nung bang um, experience mo sa Computex with the phone? Kung gusto siya. Mm. Uh, it was it was really good. Kasi if, you know it's one of the fastest 845 Snapdragon 845s ever uh, created for the year. And um, what I really really love about it is yung form factor niya kaya. <laughs> So, I'm excited for you to actually try it. So, ba, para magawa natin yun, kailangan natin i-unbox. So, paano ba yun ina-unbox? Yan ang... <laughs> yan ang... Yan ang di ko alam, no? Paano? It's a side, eh? So, okay. Pero, I think dito siya. Hmm. So... Yun. Okay. Really? Okay. Yun, so, no? kasama yung attachment. Kasama yung attachment, yeah. Nung ano, um... When you were testing it out, yeah, meron siyang attachment this one, mm. which is what is this exactly? That is called the Air Active Cooler, and meron din siyang ano? Yeah, version 3.5 mm jack. And what it uh, it it has actually is um, a mini fan inside. Mm. So yun yung kagandahan niya. Sige, so, can you open this one? Yeah, Oops. I'm in. Yun, yun. Piyong ganda. Milo na kaya niya, so. Look at that. Pero okay, now that you're holding it, kamusta sa kamusta yung hand feel? Sobrang solid yung ano niya, 'di ba? It, it doesn't feel parang it, ramdam mo yung yung aluminum casing niya. And it, it does look pretty. Really it's it's kind of similar to yung mga ano, uh, ROG laptops na. Eh. Ah, okay. Yung well, di, itong design din natin. Okay. This one. Uh, ah, ano okay, no? Yeah. Yeah. So you have a yeah, you have a mix of like, parang I think this is not entirely sure if this is glass, uh, behind it, but it has like a nice chrome uh, look. Actually, mukha nga siyang glass. Eh. I think yeah, it is think glass. glass. Hefty, yeah. May have yeah. May have share. So it's that, and then itong like really matte, um, parang contour. Hindi siya nabubuksan daw, so guys, <laughs> don't even attempt to try and like open these things up. It's you know for aesthetic purposes lang siya. But look how beautiful that is. And oh, uh, what I love about this is, sabi ko nga kanina, there is a uh, thing called the game center <laughs> inside. So if you are a player of ROG, makita marin yung, uh, uh, mo rin yung game center mm. within that. And part of that is where you can overclock. Mm. Like you can uh, check uh, like um, your fan speed, pwede mong i-calibrate yung fan speed, and then yung you know yung pati yung pati yung ilaw niya eh. so this one you can actually do that as well and um, there are two ways to uh, get to the game center um, one is you can find it here and just click the app or you can simply ta -da! so mm. it opens it closes and opens so makikita mo naman if if the the, the background is like this it mm. means naka open yung Game center As in niya. that background right there. Yeah, like this background okay. right there. So, like, I'll show you right now. Sorry. Ah, uh, nagets mo. So, right. Okay, what it does is that it basically para overclocks your 845. Nag open big lang. Yeah, from a 2.8 uh, gigahertz to. Ah, oh, so 2.8 hertz to uh, 2.96 gigahertz uh, speed. So it's you know currently the fastest 845 yeah, ever in the market. I think maganda yung overclocking for uh, for future games. Like yes, a year in, hindi pa to magiging ano, obsolete. Magiging obsolete. That's true. Because of the overclocking. Because if you get uh, an 845 powered phone, mm. you're stuck with that ano, with that clock speed. Yeah, diba? that's true. Oh, tama tama. So so okay pa. Yeah. And plus, uh, well, what's the game center itself? 
Mm. So this is what it looks like. So it looks similar to the one found in, in ROG. Mm. So basically, yun yung itura from the game. If you have laptops, ROG ginyan yung itura. Medyo ganyan yung itura. So my fan speech yun na nakalagay. Um, you can actually uh, fix that. Pati yung aura light. Pati yung aura light. So it naka default siya to yung breathe. Yung parang yung breathing. Yeah, yung breathing, uh, I think. And then pwedeng solid lang. No? Pwedeng, yeah, you can change it. So oh, okay. I can change the, the color to what I want. Ayun. So, dito pala yun, sorry. So, static, let's say. So, yeah, pwedeng static. And then I can change it to this. Mm -hmm. And then it's... Sorry. Yeah, yun pala dun. Okay. Yun, yun. So... May tura nyo na yun. Ayan. Ayun. Okay. So, it, it shows sa likod. Uh, okay, so, in in most cases, um, the you can find the USB-C jack here and then a 3.5 uh, MM here and I was what I was telling you a while ago. What I love about the ROG phone is the form factor. Nya. Now, of course, when you usually play mobile games, you play it in a landscape mode, diba But the problem is if you're if you're charging or if you're listening to music, hassle yung may nakadikit dito. Eh. Nakaganon. Na nakaganon. So parang it, it widens your grip, right? What ROG did or the ROG phone is that this here, dakit yung like this rubber part. Here, you can take that out. Right. So you can take that out. You can take that out, and even with even without the air active cooler, you can actually uh, insert a USB C port or a USB C here. Right. You don't need to use this. One. Not really, but of course, extra cool. If you want, or. You know, I, I kasi, think, parang, ano, uh, why would you not want to include the, that? The 3.5 millimeter jack. Yeah, nandito na sa ilalim. So if you want to play while using headphones, just least na sa ilalim. Yeah. While you're playing. And so how you insert that is you open it up, and then papasok malang sa loob. So may ganon palang mechanism. Kasi akala yeah. ko ikaw ganon mo lang. Oh. Eh. Hindi pa parang mahirap. Okay. okay. So when you turn it on, nandito na kayo mm. ilalim. So, good, ba? Hindi ka mawawala ng RGB. Hindi ka mawawala ng RGB. Yun, 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 yun pa man yung pinaka-importante sa <laughs> gaming. Plus 10 FPS pag RGB. <laughs> well, aside, well, aside from FPS, uh, the ROG phone is also fitted with uh, a 90 hertz refresh rate with a 1 millisecond response time. Ang job, guys, nandito nga pala si John Ancheta, no? So, ito doon sa nang. Yes! Yun. <laughs> thanks, thanks for the tip, Jam. So, uh, world's first OLED with a 90, a 90 hertz. hertz na, na okay, so not device. only do you get yung ano, um, vibrant colors ni yes. OLED. Yep. Pag OLED yung display, you also get the uh, yep. um, high refresh rates. Yeah. So, and uh, actually, ako ba ka mo? Laro doon mo yung fan? Ako ano? <laughs> so, dun pa lang eh. Actually, I found out na ngayon ko nabigla na isa. Uh -huh. Maganda to kasi I have sweaty pulps when I play. Okay. Pero with this one. Ah, so it, it keeps it cool as well. Diba? Well, it, it has like a lot of cooling. Aside from the actual fan itself, it I has still... a lot of cooling within it. Version 3D vapor chamber cooling and uh, copper heat spreader and a carbon cooling pad. So all of these would help ensure that your phone is, you know, kept at the, the best possible temperature hmm, this is for nice. gaming. I've never seen it diba? with this <laughs> attachment. And the best part is kasama siya sa box. Kasama siya sa box. Pero ganda kasi if you get this one, not, not only do you have overclocking, and yeah. kapag yung overclock mo, hindi pa siya iinit. Because you have uh, this cooling attachment. Actually, that's true. Diba? So, so future-proof, which is... You wouldn't expect from a phone. Mm -hmm. Usually, pag sinad mo phone, ah, good lang yan for a year or for two. For a year and then that's it. Especially battery, kasi battery naman kalaban niya is heat. Yeah. If since this phone has a lot of cooling capabilities. Yeah. Okay, to. Well, it also has a lot of battery. It has 4,000 oh. mAh. So, for 4,000 mAh with a lot of cooling, uh, it means na you can actually game longer than, you know, most other devices. Which is, I think, one of the perks talaga of an ROG phone. Yun nga eh, parang what I really really love about the ROG phone is how the designers and you know Asus ROG really thought of the gamers first and foremost. What are their needs and uh, how can they you know find solutions around 
itong, you know, their problems, particularly for mobile gaming. Mm-hmm. Uh, they, they've managed, managed to bring the you know, ROG experience from uh, desktop or laptop to mm. mobile. Mm, so yeah. that's what I'm really interested about. I want to try the games on this oh, one. And that's where uh, ESGS comes in. Mm. Because the ROG phone is going to be coming out at ESGS this month. So on the 28th, if you guys are going to the SMX Convention Center, yeah. uh, please go on 28th because you can see the ROG. Don. If you want to see uh, the, the ROG, ROG phone, sorry. And then I'm pretty sure you'll be able to try it out for yourselves as well. So it's a great event, uh, particularly for gamers. And I think it was a solid decision also of uh, Asus ROG to launch the ROG phone, which is like the premier gaming phone. <laughs> In a premier gaming event. Diba? And that's it for us. Uh, my name is Colin and I'm with Nico. And if you like this video, please don't forget to subscribe, give us a like, uh, check the channel out as well, and we'll be providing you more geek and gaming news in the coming days. Stay tuned for more of this. Yes, video. stay tuned for more of this. And with that, we'll see you in the next one. Keep on gaming. This Nico. is Nico. Uh, and. Uh, Wait, I'm going to go to the other side. I'm going to go to the other side.